Hi friends, it's Pastor Harley from the Broadway Global Methodist Church. I want to read to you for this devotion from the Gospel of John chapter 13, uh, verses 21 and 22. It says, After saying these things, Jesus was troubled in his spirit, and he testified, Truly, truly, I say to you, one of you will betray me. The disciples looked at one another, uncertain of whom he spoke. And then we know from the other Gospels that they even went on to say, Lord, is it I? Um, uncertainty. The idea that they have been following after Christ. They have heard his words. They've even served him in power and ministry to the sick and preaching the Gospel. But the heart is still uncertain. Uncertain of the people to the right and to the left. And really uncertain of our own hearts. That uh, if you're in that group and knowing what we know, you want to stand up and say, well, guys, it's Judas. He's the one who's going to betray Jesus. But all the disciples will fall away because we're not going to be able to do this on our own strength. Um, Jesus is the light of the world, and that's good because we're not going to see to the end of the darkness except by his light. Jesus is the life that, that we have, and, and that's good. Because I'm not going to be able to manufacture what is meaningful and good out of this life of mine. I have too divided of a heart. My gifts are too weak. I need God in my life to make that happen. Jesus is love and joy and peace, as I mentioned yesterday. He is, he is these things that, that I can sense them. I'm, knowing, I'm excited about them. I recognize them as good. But as far as them being active in my life and, and being being the theme in my life as, as someone would be who uh, focuses upon the Father and whose heart is inhabited by Jesus, I can only do that through the gift of his Holy Spirit. Before you set out, there's some great things ahead of you. Trust me, you want to get there, but do so in the strength of his Spirit and his love. Amen.